Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today's video is about Maya, our mini Australian Labradoodle. She's been in heat and we want to tell you who we bred her with. So Maya is our gorgeous chocolate phantom mini Australian Labradoodle. She is absolutely fantastic. I'll put her picture up right here. So she started her heat cycle and we're like, Oh my goodness, we don't have anybody on her list. We did plan to maybe breed her with our golden doodle and make double doodles or Australian golden doodles or what they're called. But we just, we couldn't wrap around what people want. So it's not always about what we want. You know, I love my golden doodles. I love my red tuxedos. Everybody doesn't love that. You know, there's people that want the Bernie doodles or the Aussie doodles or the Labradoodles. And that is why we have added different breeds kind of to our program is for other people and to get puppies from us, you know, of how we do things and how we raise them and all of that good stuff. So I wanted to take you guys along. We ended up breeding to our boy Hank. He is our F1B petite Aussie doodle. So Millie and Pickles puppies. But what I want to do is go through the process. You can see them together. We did have to collect and do AI both times, but just show you where I took some pictures of them and then playing around and seeing them in person with people. And then at the end of this, I wanna tell you, you know, with the colors that they're bred, what they're gonna produce, that kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and just take you along with seeing them. And then at the end, we'll kind of explain so don't miss out on that. All right, weren't they absolutely adorable? I mean, they are just perfect. So Maya is, she's 28 pounds. She should be about 24, 25. She's a little thick, but that's okay. She's a good girl. She And you can see like her size. She's not that big. She's just thick. <laughs> but Miss Maya is gorgeous. She's a great girl. She is a cuddle bug, very loving. And then of course we picked Hank to breed with. He's this little petite 13, 14 pound boy with one blue eye, a little bit of blue in the other eye. He is just perfect. So I have my paper here where I wrote all my information down on. So this is not the normal breed that we breed together. I like it to be Australian Labradoodle to Australian Labradoodle, Aussie Doodle to Aussie Doodle. You know, maybe the, the, the breed that we do like is the Bernie Doodle and Aussie Doodle. We've seen a lot of um, but golden doodle to golden doodle, like I like to keep them separate. Just me, you know, same with, you know, purebred dogs. You know, these are not purebreds because we're mixing them with poodles, different breeds. But I like to be as purebred as we can. But with Miss Maya, you know, I'm trying to look through our boys. You know, I've contacted a lot of breeders around. I haven't found a boy that will complement Maya and her structure and her color and her size and what I'm wanting to produce with Australian Labradoodle to be the same breed. I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, so I'm like trying to think what my people want, what size, what color, you know, Merle with, you know, blue in the eyes and phantom and all this kind of stuff, trying to figure out what other people want. And this is what, this is actually really intriguing to me because this is a breed that I think that I am going 
to adore. This is a perfect, this is going to be the perfect pet together because both of them are great dogs. They're sweet. They're smart. But we are going to call them Aussie Australian Labradoodles. So an Aussie Doodle and an Australian Labradoodle combined. Double Doodle, if we want to call it that. Two Doodles combined. But I want to kind of give you the breakdown. So I want to let you know when she started her heat, which was August 2nd. You know, we tested her on the 13th. So 11 days later, we tested, and she was a 13.84. So anything over a 12 says they're ready. So I was like, okay, this is great. So what we did with that number at a 13.84, so we went ahead, and Maya had already went back home because we were going to run the number. So I went ahead and called up Hank's guardians or text them, one or the other. We always do both. And... You know, they said, yeah, you know, we can we can meet. So the daughter actually, so Hank's guardian, so her mom is also a guardian for Brantley. So it's kind of some guardian dogs that live in one household with mom and daughter. But the daughter brought Hank over to Maya's house. So which you had seen in the videos, this was the first day. So we met over at Maya's and the way she was acting, the color of her blood, the way everything was, was absolutely perfect. So being a 13.84, we do want it to continue to rise. We want it to do kind of a jump. I didn't think we needed to do that. So we could have done it, but I think at a 13.84, she was ovulating the day before, maybe the day of, the way her blood looks, the way she's acting, everything looks perfect. So we got them both together. We did have to do AI. I was going to see, since they're about the same size, you know, height-wise, if Hank could do it himself and he just, he didn't really know what to do since I've only AI'd. He's not bred natural. So went ahead and collected, did AI, and then we skipped two days. So we skipped two days, and then Maya's guardians this time had got Maya and brought her to Hank's mama's work. So she, she you know, has her own business. And we met there and, you know, let them kind of sniff around and play and all that stuff, and then had to do AI again, which was perfect. So we're going to plan to do an ultrasound around September 14th through 16th to confirm pregnancy. And then the estimated... Due date is October 14th, so mark your calendar. So I'll put all these dates up. I'll type it up and put it at the end of this video so you can kind of screenshot if you want to. Mark the dates down. Of course, we'll do videos like this, hopefully, and be able to get it all, and it won't be late. You know, we're about a week late now with getting this video up. We've just been busy. So that means go home date will be December 8th through the 9th. So this litter doesn't have anybody on the list yet. So that was another reason why I was a little leery of do we breed to, who do we breed to? What do we want to produce? What colors do we want? Do we want to breed to Todd again, which is who we bred to, and he's the Bernie Doodle. So we did have her bred to the Bernie Doodle last time, and you can see their litter. It's on my Facebook. You can check that out if you want. I'll leave the link below to that album where you can see that. But let's go ahead and talk about color. What are they going to produce? So both of them are chocolate-based and both are phantom. So since both are phantom, all of either chocolate or blacks, which they won't produce blacks, but all of chocolate or black puppies can show the phantom markings. So that means that our reds, creams, or apricots, they don't show phantom markings. So both of our mom and dad, so Maya and Hank, both actually carry cream is the gene cream is also cream apricot or red that's the same genetics it just it's whatever and i've got the list of kind of what they carry in there but both of them carry that gene so 75 percent of these puppies will be chocolate phantom and then 25 percent. now this is a chance each puppy has a 75 percent chance of being chocolate or a 25 percent chance of being cream red or apricot so I went on to our Embark breakdown. Both of these dogs carry, it's, so it's out of 10, five out of 10 red genes. So it's red or cream. It's, it's kind of really hard. We don't know how accurate this is. I do know with our really, really dark red dogs, they're always nine out of 10. So both of these dogs, even though they're brown, they carry red and they're five out of 10. So we will see, you know, we could have five out of 10. Some of the markers are on the opposite sides. We could have some that grab more or some that grab less. So who knows? Who knows what, you know, what we're gonna have. So another thing with the 75% chocolate, 
they're all going to be phantom, but each puppy, even the cream or apricot or red, have a 50% chance. So each puppy has a 50% chance of being Merle, but the cream, red, and apricot, you can't see it. So if they are on the red side or cream, they hide all of that extra stuff. So phantom, Merle, all of that, it's inside of them, but you can't see it. But then the chocolates, they can show it. So all will be phantom, 50% of the puppies have a chance of being Merle, which along with the Merle comes a chance of having some blue in their eyes, either both or one or some or none, you never know. But this is so exciting. I'm so happy for this pairing together. Both parents are just wonderful. I love, love, love them together, separately. I think they are going to produce awesome puppies. So let me know if you have any questions. So it's going to be probably puppies around 18 to 22 pounds. I would think right in that range. Dad is 13, 14. Mom should be 25. She's about 28. So should be more of our mini to petite size. So these puppies will be listed as minis because we have a mom that's over a mini so we can't list them as petites so price wise they're minis and just let me know if you have any questions so thank you guys so much for watching here's my cell phone number so text me text me if you have any questions or pick up the phone and call me or you can send me an email that information is down below but don't forget to hit that subscribe link if it's your first time here give us a thumbs up if you like these videos and we'll see you next time bye